some makeup. Our dress already. <laughs> Full face and makeup. Yeah, you guys are live. There we go. What do you mean? This is my natural lip color. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Are we gonna see him. You are good. Are we live? Oh, okay, well, hang on. I got you. I was Hello, good. everyone. Welcome. <laughs> we are live. See? Good. Okay, okay, I will turn my mind. I look like <laughs> tribal. It's kind of awesome. Tribal. Yes. And you just look stable. I look stable in my shower cap. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, welcome. This is not a prop. I rarely wear this every day, so. She yeah. does. We were on a trip together. This is just while we're kind of waiting people to join. It's yeah. an anecdote. <laughs> um, we were on a trip together, one of our mini trips, and Kelly walked out of the bathroom in that shower cap, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just had a vision of us at like 55. And like, we're still going to Disneyland together. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, stole my hair to get wet. But it's so what? smart. It's so smart. And I just literally put mine up in a pony and I'm like, well, it's kind of wet still. As long well, as she doesn't bring hair. it to Splash Mountain, I think they're I have, okay. I have so much thick hair and it's kind of wavy. It's a pain in the butt. Her hair is it's it's glorious. Famous. Well, okay. So it, when we did it in <laughs> Kauai, it was glorious. It's just, I could make her look like Tomb Raider. It was awesome. It was amazing. A week of awesome hair. It was pretty awesome. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Welcome. I'm Alex. <laughs> I'm Kelly. <laughs> and we own Lit Joy Cray. Well, I'm just getting cozy. <laughs> Which is a book box subscription company if you're confused by the setup. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little confusing. But it's nice that you have a tub for us. I know. I was like, we will get used out of this tub. I built a house. We built a house like last year and I picked out this tub specifically for photo shoots in mine. So if you see any <laughs> pictures of photos in a tub, it's usually mine. And I also bathe in it regularly, wearing this. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about a new product in our shop on this live. And I don't know, Kelly, you can kind of talk. We had this idea a long time ago, maybe even like in one of our very first meetings we've ever had. And we wanted to do a bath bomb set that was book boyfriend themed. And okay. So we need to show this up clearly. Yes. Deborah behind the scenes. Thank you. Deborah is here with us. Round of applause for Deborah. Y'all are so Look, cute. How? You're something. You're so, so sweet. This is our book boyfriend bath bomb set. Yes. Isn't the box adorable? The okay, box is so adorable. we wanted to do, we were always talking um, about like doing bath bombs that were themed, and um, we always loved curating something. And um, so this is basically a labor of love. We curated everything. So let's start chatting about our book boyfriend bath bombs. I will start with the slogan, <laughs> which I came up with, and then you can talk design and scent and sure. everything. Okay, awesome. So the slogan is get dirty while getting clean. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. And I was like, can we put that on the box? And, and they're like, obviously. I'm like, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so this is obviously more of a... Uh, you know, a grown-up product, or anyone who doesn't understand what that slogan means. <laughs> um, but we wanted to do something that was kind of clever and funny and played on, like, book boyfriends, because we all have, like, an obsession with book boyfriend and book girlfriends that's, yeah. like, it, that nothing will become of it. <laughs> but now you can take a bath with them. Okay, so you want to talk about the packaging and branding a little bit? I don't know. We fought about this a little bit, so... We did. We had <laughs> So this is our first edition of the box. Yes. And we have several editions that we are going to do with other book boyfriends if this one goes well. But let's talk about the inside of the box. It's so pretty. So yeah, you can kind of see it's like this one's a little bit more spring inspired. We will do maybe a more fall winter inspired. We're opening it up. Opening the and as you open it, you'll see the labels of each boyfriend on the top lid so you know who you're taking a bath with. <laughs> ah, it is glorious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting mine all open. Can you, you can talk about each one of them? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so right away I knew I wanted to work with the, um, her name. It's Lillian Violet Co. Lillian mm -hmm. Violet Company. Um, that's her, her handle on Instagram. And she is so great. Her name's Lauren. She does some really fun specialty bath bombs. That's who did our Jack Skellington like bath discs that we put in our middle grade crates yes. that were so bad. I'm yes. having issues getting this out. Well, okay, so the, you can take out the little yeah. form. Just take out the form. Okay, hang on. Okay. Um, she did the, the Jack Skellington bath bombs are some of my favorite scented bath bombs that we've ever done. But if you, they were like a, a roast, uh, like a toasted marshmallow kind of a flavoring. 
and they smell so good. I'm on. And um, she hand painted Jack Skellington. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons we want to work with her. And also the bath bombs that she did like disperse really well in the tub. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like kind of grainy, but she like did awesome. Like the actual ingredients and everything, it was a perfect ratio. Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk reason. Oh, okay, we can start with that one. I mean, whatever one you want. I was gonna, I'm going to point to the top of the box. Well, resand. These are all resand. wrapped right now, so they're a little bit glossy. But resand, of course, is his, you know, signature yeah. purple color. Yeah. As I sat on the camera, and I like it. <laughs> we added. We had her add in the gold stars. Very resand inspired. A traditional smell of like the citrus, you know, breeze with the. Um, is that kind of almost like a yeah, citrus so, with the sea breeze kind of a mix? It says on here that um, in this is, it has like a grapeseed oil and fragrant oil. So this one specifically, if you look at the post we just did on Instagram, yeah, it actually talks about all the scents. And this one is like a fresh citrus kind of a scent. But it also has like a clean shaven undertone. So it's kind of like, like <laughs> sexy cologne. And the paint like, on it, uh, she's just like, <laughs> reason. and reason. the painting on it is like shimmery. So it's like a shimmer. And she hand painted on the iconic like stars mm -hmm. that you see that are like tattooed on them. I love these. So this is the reason one. And I, I think out of all the scents though, I don't know. I think we're all, <laughs> they're all good for, they're good for different reasons. I think Edward might be my favorite scent, but reason is, I don't know. Okay, we'll start with the next one really quick. Okay, okay. okay. Well, so the next one is we had to go to one of the original book boyfriends, which is Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. And yes. we had a couple different ideas for this one originally, but if you guys have ever seen one of the old um, beautiful book covers that has like that gold leafing all in the front uh, and feathers, that is the inspiration that we took for this one. And she, so she hand painted. Um, so it's like a quill feather. Kind of like a gold quill feather on there. Yeah. And, it, and it, each one of them is different because she literally took gold paint um, and she hand painted on each individual one of them, which was one of the reasons. Hello, there's a bunch of foreign people joining. Welcome. Oh, um, there is, well, we wanted to make sure that it had like the detail. It's very Regency. Yes. Yes. It's like it's detailed in the bathroom itself is beautiful, but then also the scent reflects the character yeah. as well. And it does have a light floral smell. We thought mm -hmm. that would be perfect for that whole like era. Yes. We wanted to do like and not a like scent. overpowering. Right. We wanted to do a scent that kind of was like each of the scent families. We didn't want them all just to smell like cologne. And so we did like more of a citrusy one with reason. And this one's just like floral, really floral, fresh undertones. So it's like a sage kind of a floral scent, I would say. More rose. <laughs> you don't think they're very not sage. <laughs> what? I totally have sage when I'm smelling it. <laughs> Kelly is. <laughs> you smell it, Deborah. You. It has rose for sure, but it has like a like a. That's rose. <laughs> Maybe I don't have a very good palate. I'm like sage. Don't you smell? It's rose ish. <laughs> well, it definitely has rose. Which normally I don't like rose, but she did a perfect like light blend of it, right? That's a really good. I'm not a floral person, and I would use that. All right, next one. Which one do you want to go to? Smelling. Jace. Sure. Jeez, this is another really fun one for Mortal Instruments. Right. Check out that rune. Oh, I love it. So she again hand painted a rune on there. Is it kind of glittery again? The rune. Um, how did she do that quill? So um, literally when she painted it, like she has her her dissolvable paint, um, the all natural paint, and she'll like take a paintbrush and hand paint them. That's how. So they're, they're like absolutely yeah. beautiful. So, so the rune has like a shimmer underneath it with the black rune on top of it. So there's like an orange shimmer and then the black rune. And the reason we picked Jace was because we really wanted, um, we wanted a fantasy fandom that we knew would resonate with tons of our, you know, our followers and yeah. our friends. And, and we knew that, um, that the Shadowhunters was kind of a staple like in the fantasy fandom. So we went with Jace as one oh, of yeah. Like over the last 15 years, that's I can't describe this moment's one. It's... Look it up on our post, our most recent post, because we have like a little description online. You can see on but our I also am getting over a cold, so I'm a little stuffy. Well, everything smells like sage to me, apparently. And well, <laughs> maybe it's just my makeup. This has like a, a really earthy slightly like fresh woodsy smell to it to me yes this one's definitely the most woodsy out of all of them but like when i say woodsy that doesn't sound right but it just has that fresh 
outdoor smell. Will you look up the description on our website so we can do the exact ingredients? Yep. I'm trying to remember these. Okay. We've done a lot of bath bombs lately. Yeah. Okay, and the next one I was so excited about. Okay. <gasps> a Magnus Bane bath bomb. Nice. Um, yeah, I feel like that needs to happen. That needs to happen. <laughs> Brilliant. Good job, novel reality. Yep. Got her back. Um, yep. I second the Magnus. Okay, one. so Jace is yes, a Jace. blend of green peppercorn, white sage. Show your sages in there. Maybe and I was actually just smelling that. Juniper berry. Juniper, Juniper berry. So it is kind of like a woodsy blend. An outdoorsy. It's really yummy. It's <clears> just like Jace just freshly shaved his pubescent What was it? Line. <laughs> Well, that you know, like awkward. just got off his motorcycle, kind of smelly, <laughs> like not the sweat or anything, you know. Yeah. Oh, we're having people say they don't know this boyfriend. You don't know Jace? So Jace from the Mortal Instruments Shadow by Hunters. Cassandra Clare. Um, Shadow Hunters is a big fan of them, and they actually write runes all over their body to kind of give them extra powers. And this is one of the runes that we put on here. If you don't know this book boyfriend, then you need to put him in the tub and get the book and start reading. Yes, yeah, so take Jace to the bath with oh, you. God. Bring a book. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, our last one. I was so excited about this one. Yes, yeah, so this one I was like, we have. This was a debate on this one, even doing it. I wanted to, but I was worried other people didn't want it. I think this one turned out my favorite. So Edward Cullen, who was like in one of the original book boyfriends, you know, that revamped the whole idea, right? Ha! <laughs> I said vamped. Revamp. I'm so clever on accident. Okay. <laughs> and so when we chatted about this, we wanted it to smell like like apple. Because, you know. And, um, yeah. This is Edward. And then I had given her two ideas. And I'm like, if you can do this idea, Lily, um, Lauren, this would be amazing. And she's like, I got you. So we have freaking vampire teeth marks in here. They're, and, like, indented. Yeah, they are literally indented. Like, the best part is when you put it in the bath, it's going to be red. The whole inside is red. Yeah, so it looks like this white bath bomb with just like a little <laughs> bit of blood. But then as you put it in the tub, it's like you realize that he dug in and there's blood everywhere. But it's very it's romantic. Very romantic. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but it has like a really fresh apple-y smell mm -hmm. to it. Very fruity. They're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Fandango is saying Edward and Darcy are classic. I agree. I agree. Hello. We have our two classic boys. Yes, and um, and then our more contemporary new boys. So Edward is a bright apple fragrance with subtle candied sweetness. Yeah, so it's like appley sweet. Mm -hmm. And we're all it's good. <laughs> I think it's my favorite scent in the box, honestly. But I just thought it was so good. clever. And I'm like, we already are in the mood for. It. We got all of them. Come we on. have the mood. This nursery one is just so beautiful. I know, it's and like, too pretty. Racing to Read says, if you don't like Edward, you could always say it's another favorite vampire boyfriend. Well, that's true. It's oh. just basically vampire. Adrian. Dimitri. Dimitri from Adrian. Vampire, vampire Academy. He came up, so what we wanted no. to, you're all, <laughs> Kelly just kind of like <laughs> the idea of Dimitri. I'll sing something to the tub. Okay, so basically we just wanted to hit four book boyfriends that we felt were like very different from each other and that we thought would be, um, ones that you guys would love. And this is just our first round, so um, we have big plans for other ones. I love the idea of, what were you saying? Somebody was mentioning like Cause or Mal for yeah. the shovers. I like it. I totally agree. Less on the Mal, like we need a Darkling bath bomb, right? Like raise your hand if you think the Darkling. Because I kind of fought for him, but we thought his aesthetic was too similar to Reason, and we knew Reason yes. was a winner for us, but um, what do you guys think oh. of doing the Darkling? Reese is mine. You're all, and this is my bath bomb. Uh -huh. You go like all angry voice. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a girl that's mine. <laughs> there are a lot of good boyfriends out there. So we kind of just wanted to do like a good mixture of them. And then yes. um, that is, we have a little thing that goes on top in here, but that is a complete set. Yes, all of them. They look so beautiful next to each other. So we were, it was all kind of like which scents would be different, what characters are different. And then, um, yeah, try out our crate, um, Indie Book Junkie. If you have any questions, like, let us know on here. Any so where can they buy these, Alex? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes, to do the Darkling, too. Also, Nikolai. I love Nikolai. I more than Mel, too. I Mel think too. she's doing something with Nikolai, right? She is. Okay, so Lee Bardugo is writing a whole new book series. No, she's doing something with, um. I thought it was Nikolai. Mountain Men. What's his name? 
Um, yeah, Nina and... Matthias? Matthias. Matthias. She's doing something with Matthias. And but he's... With... No, it's Nikolai. I'm pretty he, sure. He, I'm he, sure. Um, I, should Nikolai I know what her next book's about? Huh? No, I know, but she was doing like a prequel kind of a thing. Oh, like okay. a novel. Anyways. I was um, like, that does not work. A light and a dark boyfriend book. Oh, that would be rad. So like a villain boyfriend? Yeah, the darkling. Bad boy boyfriend. The darkling's like, oh. Bad boy boyfriend. <sighs> I've got it. Done. All of these <laughs> ideas are coming into my mind. Um, I love Nikolai, though. I mean, I know. Who doesn't? He was just, he was so, uh, like, his whole persona was, like, he put on, like, a facade of being really clever, but he's, like, really authentic. Anyways, um, Game of Thrones, yes. Snow. Jon Snow. Snow. <laughs> you know nothing. It would be cool to do, like, a bathroom that's, like, half blue on top, and then it looks like snow on the bottom, like it's falling from the sky. Or, like, like it's happened. We have ideas. In our heads. Okay, so, his Kelly asked. These book boyfriend bath bomb sets, you get four bath bombs and this whole package, and then it's also shipped in another package that is pretty and safe, and it's fifteen dollars flat, and it is, um, and the shipping rates apply just based on where you live. So it's just our discounted U.S. And we have rates. very limited quantities. Like we didn't order a ton of these. Ones. No, this was a way more exclusive item, and we wanted to just kind of test it out and see if you guys liked it, and we wanted something that was like a good gift to give. That wasn't the $30 price point. So this is really nice because it only costs like half of what a book box would cost. But you get all four bombs in there and a Lit Joy unboxing experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's being curated. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Bath with Bad Boys. Bath Bones, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, Jon Snow. I know, right? Wiggy Reads, perfect. Okay, such a good price. I normally spend $8 on a bath bomb. It's true. So there are many, but... They we, will fill up your tub plenty. Oh, yeah. So sometimes I buy those, the regular size bath bombs and I have to cut them in half. Oh, I cut the minis in half even because they're so, like, powerful and I feel like. Yeah, but I like to be immersed. As You're well. like, I want to be all the way in. Reset is all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's fun. Hey, <laughs> so um, I see your knees poking up there. So show, uh, show everyone what you're wearing. Oh, well, besides my llama socks, <laughs> we are wearing <laughs> leggings. I know. I'm like, how do I do this? <laughs> I can stand. I can show you my leggings. This is what I'm wearing. So, Indie Book Junkie, <laughs> why you guys are dancing, wants to know if there are still Poor Unfortunate Souls boxes. There is six. Only six. Six boxes six. left. In fact, we were going to chat about that. It's very natural for me. <laughs> I'll just sit, sit like this. On this side. I'm surprised anyone takes this seriously. <laughs> it always is remarkable when someone's like, you guys have it together. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. Did you not see our leggings? I know. Did you not see this? So, so we should talk. Let's talk about the leggings first, and then we'll talk about so time just to change. Oh. Yeah, take your towels off. Because I always have freshly curled hair underneath my towel. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Very really robust right now. Are we sitting outside? Go ahead and sit up. Like this? No, oh, we're going to adjust. Would you like to be the spring court or the night court? Give me that. Yeah. I haven't worn this yet. Okay. Look at um now. I dance and Logic Pair are so lovely curated. Thank you so much. Who said that? Oh, Finango. Thank you. I'm all. Am I saying that right? Look at my hair. <laughs> I always show it like this, like on fan pictures, and I'm all that doesn't look Yes. Well, he's always like, I'm, I'm casual, powerful. Um, thank you so much for saying that. But joy is like, curation is really like the foundation yeah. of, of every experience of Let joy. We make sure that everything, even our Facebook lives, are curated. We just can't not. <laughs> I don't know. And costume. Yeah. It's, it's just so natural. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, book away from bath bombs. Any questions about them, let us know. We'll make sure. Oh. So, if you're looking for a direct link on Facebook, you can go up to the description. Or if you're on Instagram, if you flip to the rest of our stories, you can swipe up and you'll get right there to the bath bombs. Yes. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you for... It's the exact product link, so it'll take you right to them. Okay, perfect. So, the reason we switched to... We have two reasons. One, yes. we have a special edition box. As you guys may have seen, the Starfall box. No, Starlight. Starlight box. It is, sorry, Starfall happens in it. But there's stars. Starlight. Light. A, a neat, what is it? A Court of Frost. A court of Frost and, and Starlight. Starlight. Yes. It's the Lit Joy Edition Starlight Edition. 
special edition. We were up and down about like, do we do one? Do we not? And then everyone was sending us messages and DMing, and then we kind of put the question out there, and then it was an overwhelming yes. So we decided to go ahead and do it. Yes. So that's one, and we will talk more about the details of that and answer questions. It's doing well. We are almost sold out, I think, already, and it's been up for twenty. Hours yes, less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours. Than 24 hours. Yeah. So we um, literally are like, we are 80% sold out. 80. 80% yes. sold out. And we like highballed it on this. And I was very grateful, like just humbled that so many people were interested in a LaJoy curated Sarah J Moss experience. And so... I feel like between this box and Harry Potter, I've, I've never cared so much about something. Yes. <laughs> Yes, like our. I care a lot about this sold. box, so we make like Kelly does the curation, the majority of curation on these, and then I do all the marketing. So basically, like it's my job to make sure every product shines. So we both feel the pressure immensely to put out like a beautiful product, it, and we never throw anything together with them. So um, you're welcome. Yes, I. Um, they just we had a people, a couple of people who were like, thank you so much. So you are well. And it's funny because I didn't realize how many other boxes were doing a specialty crate for this book until people have been like, this is my fifth one. I'm like, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for purchasing one. For us. I appreciate it. I know. So this crate specifically, it does not include the book. No. And the reason we did that is because one, we, we did a vote, we put a vote out there and it was, um, like a vast majority was like, don't do the book. Because so many other crates are including it, plus um, I know that Bloomsbury is doing a, um, an enamel pin, collectible pin. So, so people most people had pre pre-ordered the book mm -hmm. from somewhere. So we wanted to just do essentially around, you know, we wanted to do really high quality items yeah. that are very customized to LitJoy and to the Akatar series. So every item is inspired by that specific series of Sarah's. And um, and it's forty five dollars. Yes. Um, just flat. We were gonna be like, we should charge forty four ninety nine, and then we're like, you know what? It's forty five dollars, and we will put plus up, shipping. Plus shipping on top of that, just because it will be a heavier crate with the items that are in there. And we just were like, let's just put the quality in there. Let's just make it all about the quality of the items and make it a really special box for everyone. So. It's going to be beautiful packaging, and um, do you want to talk about curation on it at all? Should we, should we sure. tell them about the R pin? Yes, so <laughs> when I found out that Bloom Story was doing a custom uh, or special edition like, pre-order pin, I'm all, well, we're doing a pin too. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry you're, we're not helping with travel savings. I'm sorry about that. We were, I thought a lot about what kind of pin I wanted to put in there. I didn't want to do something that had already been done, and right. so I found one of my favorite quotes. It's from the third book. The hurricane um, from? Also, I can't remember. I think well, so. I care. It's the wolf one, right? Wolf. <laughs> that's all. Well, I was like, we can. That's something I'm going to sneak peek. Is yes. That there is a quote um, where it talks about how Feyre is a wolf, and you can look it up if you want. And we have kind of played off of that. And Stephanie and Kelly have been sending me inspiration, and we've been working on this pin for. Um, like a full week and I think it's going to be one of like the most beautiful products that we've ever designed so we're actually manufacturing it ourselves and designing this enamel pin so, so you guys can add it to your exclusive avatar or whatever pin. Or like pin collection yes because we are just doing it for this box yep it's only this box and we may order a couple of extra just in case any shipping issues come up because I have one but um, it's going to be just exclusive to this box. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Deborah has a Deborah question. Has a question. <laughs> um, no, I just wanted to. Um, people are asking where you got your crowns. Oh, um, this one. Well, this one came from Beautiful Con. Yeah, conference. Be the Beautiful Con um, gals that was in their swag bag. Yeah. So Justine and Benita from Bookbo yeah. and the Bookish Box, they put that on. And then this one came from. China. <laughs> Thank you, China. Yes. The country. Um, also, I think you should, um, you know, just reiterate that it is 80% sold out because people are saying, I'm going to buy one next week. And oh. Then, oh, no, that's not going to happen. Yeah. We'll probably, sales will probably be closed for sure by tomorrow is what we're guessing. Yeah, so Friday night, Saturday morning would be like a miracle if there were crates left Saturday morning. 
which I'm sorry they're going so fast, but really the reason we put quantity and time restraints on product or on boxes like this is because vendors need time to do the production. So our vendors need a great number to go off of. So we have to kind of cut it off. Yeah. Which is a bummer. People but. are asking where your leggings are. Oh yeah. yeah, we forgot. We did a dance and didn't even talk about them. These are, if you'll notice, these hey, match. Stand up. These match the galaxy these. scarf that we did. So these are. And our dragon scale scarf. And our dragon scale scarf. Okay. Yeah, you don't have heads in either of these. It's videos. okay. That's okay. Because <laughs> this is what's important. So these are Lidjoy um, original patterns. And we will be selling Lidjoy leggings. They are literally, and I'm not just saying this, the softest leggings I've oh ever gosh. worn. Oh my gosh. They're so comfortable. In fact, um, I put them on the first pair I got. And. Um, I washed them that night so I could wear them the next day because they were so comfortable. Nice and stretchy. The yes. color looks fantastic. The print is amazing. It's just so detailed. Such good. They're really good quality. They're thick enough. Um, it's like a breathable fabric that's kind of silky. So they're thick enough for you to wear them as pants, but um, breathable, which I love. So um, these that are going to go. Um, shut up. Uh, shut I need up. this constellation. Oh, I'm on. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Hikari told me to shut up. Hikari's bossing us around. Um, okay, these will go on sale in the Lit Joy shop this spring. So this is just a sneak peek of um, we're going to start doing a line of Lit Joy exclusive patterns this spring. So we wanted to like get you what your appetite for leggings. Well, I always whenever we do a scarf or a product that's wearable, I'm like, what still stands out but that still feels like a neutral in a lot of ways, and mm -hmm. so that's kind of I'm like, well, yeah, let's put them wherever we can. And right. So there's not like literal dragons on this. You know, Still would be cool. But. Racing to Read wants to know if they will be available in bigger sizes. Oh, every yes. size. Yeah. Yes. So we will carry them in. We're both wearing mediums right now, um, and we will carry them in extra smalls through, I believe, two XL or three XL because um, they're very stretchy and comfortable. But we wanted to make sure that they fit all body types. We didn't want to just do um, like a smaller range of sizing or larger range of sizing. We wanted. Yes, all sizes. Well, and I reiterate that Alex and Kelly have been like super awesome about that. They always make sure that shirts and things like that, they don't launch it until it's available in the bigger yeah. sizes too. Yeah, so we have our Literary, Ex Literary Explosion shirts. Um, we're launching another shirt design this spring, which the artist is already working on it. I think you guys are going to love it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really adorable. Hey, Kari says she's sorry she scared us with her excitement. No, I mean, that's good. It's okay. Um, thank you. Yes. So we, Seriously, um, these are so soft. I wish everyone could pet them. Come in, come through the phone pet and them. touch our legs. They're so soft and the stretch The colors soft. are really vibrant. I don't yeah, think the video look. catches how good the colors come through. Yeah, they just, kind of. they're such good quality too. I love them. They're just not cheap leggings, which every time I wear cheap leggings, I always feel like I don't get very much use out of them. Yeah. They just, and they're not see-through at all, which I love. I hate it when you put on leggings. And they stretch over your thighs, and then you're like, well, now you can see my whole thigh. <laughs> so yeah. Everyone is very, very happy that we're doing bigger sizes. And that Yay! we consider doing that. So, for sure. Yes, uh, we for sure. There, there's no way we launch a product without being able to fit all sizes. So, yep. Um, anyway, so Starlight Boxes, Saturday morning. Starlight Boxes. Saturday morning is um, the absolute latest that they might be available, but they will sell out quickly. Like we woke up and we're like, whoa, yeah, we had some sales. We did. So that was amazing. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank we you guys. just love you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so Book Boy from Bath Bombs in the shop now. Um, we will consider a restock on these if they sell out. Leggings launch this spring. Starlight Box will be gone Friday. A lot going on. Yes. A lot going and on. I think now. And the best way to stay up to date is get on our newsletter if you're not already. Mm -hmm. So sign up on our um, website. Yeah, if you scroll to the bottom, and well, there will be a pop up that comes up sometimes on our website. It's your first time visiting, um, so that it makes it easy to find. But if you um, if you go to our website and scroll to the very bottom, there's email signups down there that yes. are really easy. It's just like a little. Box. Avid reader wants to know when the our... when the April theme will be yes, announced. Video? Do we lose video on nope. our live? I can see you on oh, both. So just on mine. Just on your phone. No. Oh. Um. What was that question again, Deborah? Uh, what you're uh, when you're announcing next month's theme? Oh, so we have six March boxes. Okay, here's the thing: other crates announce their themes so freaking early, 
And sometimes it's confusing because you're like, why are they announcing July's theme? Like, if they and saw like, out, that's fine. We will let ship. You know what I mean? So, like, <clears throat> one thing we try and do is we try and sell out of our previous crate so that we can give people time so that they understand what crate they're buying. Because on the back end, you guys don't really see it, but we'll get, like, dozens of emails of people who are like, I just ordered. Am I getting April, May, or June's crate? And I'm all, it's February. So um, we try and make it super clear that we're like, okay, this crate is sold out, so now we will launch the theme. That's kind of our goal. So we have, um, since we started this live, we had six boxes left in March. So they'll probably sell out today, and we'll announce the theme tonight or tomorrow morning. Or So as soon as those sell out, I'm announcing the theme. So I'm excited. Like that. <laughs> you guys, it's like such a good crate. I'm so proud of our January, February, March, and April crates. They're like all done already. And you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> They're amazing. I just find like I just saw um, a design sample of the last item in our April crate. It's a wearable item, but nothing that we've ever done before. It's really cute. I'm a evil smile. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they. I I move this thing, like, it, and our April crate is going to be heavy. Like it's packed full of got good stuff. Everything in there is good. Like, Bucks, we really had to be strategic about how we got it all in there. <laughs> Books T Fan Girl says she just subscribed and wants to know if that means she's getting a March box. You are. Yes. That's a March box. Yep, that's a March. And be she's happy about that because it's amazing. Do you want to go get the pillow? Don't we have the pillow? I'll be back. <laughs> Goodbye, mermaid. Um, Kelly, do you want to tell us what we're doing for live next week and why they want to tune in? Live next week is our first live with the author. So we are going to be um, hello, chatting with Rebecca Ross, who did the Queen's. Rising. Yes. I just finished that book. Which is our February book. And we're going to be speaking with her live on Instagram and Facebook as well. And so we are going to have questions for her that we're going to chat about, but we're also going to be taking questions from you guys. So get reading Queen's Rising so you can chat with us with yes. Rebecca Ross next week. And if you're not in our book club Facebook group, yes. go join that because I'm going to yes. be asking in there for your guys' questions so you can make sure your question gets asked to Rebecca Ross. And that's been a really fun group so far. We've had lots of oh my gosh, discussions so in there. Fun. Yeah, gifts and memes are welcome. Like, come, introduce yourself. Okay, so it's Lit Joy. Let's tell them where it is first. And then it is, it's Lit Joy, or well, it's Facebook. And then groups and Lit Joy Book Club. If you search Lit Joy Book Club, it is a closed group. So one of the admin will add you. Um, you just go and request, and then um, it's fun to pet. Yes. And I pretty much live on Facebook, so I add you really fast. Yeah. So Deborah is our uh, head admin over there. She helps us keep okay. on top of things. So this is in the March crate that we have like five left of. It's yes. super fuzzy and cozy on the oh, back. Oh, it's it's like a velvety soft. It's like velvety on the back, and actually the sequence is really comfortable. I thought it wouldn't be, but it's super cozy. They're very soft sequins, so it's like yeah. a champagne color. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then yeah, gold sequin. This is in our March crate. This represents mermaid scales, because we were like, let's put a mermaid in the box, and they're all. <laughs> That's probably not. I'm all Plan B. I have an idea. <laughs> Plan A was a real live mermaid. <laughs> That's usually what Alex gives me, and then I'm all okay. I know, uh, we'll translate that. <laughs> well, let's put a Fae Warrior in there. An Alarian Warrior. She's all... There was discussion of putting a Resand blow-up doll in this, um... <laughs> star yeah. Starlight box. And then we squashed that, but... I we deflated that idea. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm so funny. <laughs> this is like a Rorschach test when I do it a certain way. I'm like... I'm also a little distracting, but that's okay. I can't stop. I can't. It's so therapeutic. So this pillow is in our March Poor Unfortunate Souls crate, yeah. where we have five left, uh, ish. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wait. Um, I'm entranced by that pillow. It is it, I know. It, is, it will become your new uh, like relaxation type stress relief thing. It's really cozy. <laughs> um, it would have to be a teeny mermaid. No, we would get custom boxes made. It's an entire live <laughs> mermaid. Daryl Hannah is coming in your box. Yes. Okay. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put this down because it's, really, right. it's really distracting. Um, so let's review. Oh, our Facebook group. Um, it is a book club, Lit Joy Book Club. And it's really fun because um, people are sharing their like favorite books. They introduce themselves, which has been awesome. Everyone has joined. So introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about books you love to read and about you. And then... Um, Gifts and memes are welcome. I feel like some, I have, I've been surprised, not surprised, but um, delighted at how funny people are. There's been yeah. some funny stuff in there. So if you guys have ever sent us a DM, you'll, nine out of ten times you might get 
a gift in return. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like that just says more what I'm it trying to say. <laughs> like Ron Swanson can just say it better. It's true. It is. No, oh, we then. I'm back up. Am I Tamlin? I kind of have a Tamlin aesthetic more, and you have more of a Reason aesthetic. So I, I can I mean, be Tamlin. Tamlin just he has a lot of things he needs to work through in therapy. He needs therapy. I mean, he and a good snack. You well, know, I could probably use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, for me, I totally know that Cassian's my type. Like oh, out of all of them, I'm like Cassian's obviously my type. Asriel's probably one of my type. That's true. Reese-ish. Then you probably would want me. What do you mean? <laughs> he would totally want you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're more, I'm definitely more Aelin than Feyre, though, for sure, personality-wise. Also, Adian is more my type. But yeah. ultimately, Rowan is my favorite book boyfriend of all time. I always love person. So me and Kelly both got our degree in psychology, so we're always, like, psychoanalyzing book characters like they're real Wrong. people. If somehow <laughs> they're for real and somehow we met them, this would work. Yes. It, it means nothing. But it means everything. It means everything. <laughs> That's okay. My husband's convinced if Jamie Frazier was a real man that I would we would have been divorced and I would have run away. So Yeah. I mean I even just think Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam, you as you guys saw on the Facebook um, our Facebook book club. Yeah, page, we talked about it. I um Mention that's one one I'd want at my dinner table if I could invite anyone. Well, Sam will be there who plays Jamie Frazier in Outlander. Oh, for sure. He's my type. Okay, wait. Um, <laughs> he's my type. He gives me the feels. I know. Oh, there's so many great guys to choose People are from. saying that we need Jamie Frazier bath bombs. Jamie came up. Yeah, I got denied, but it will happen. Well, <clears throat> what it was is it was all about a balance of the four. Yeah. So Jamie struck a similar note to someone else that we thought would be a more, uh, like, universal, out-of-the-gate book boyfriend bath bomb option. So if you guys purchase our book boyfriend bath bombs and we sell out, the sooner we sell out, the sooner we can do four new ones. And I think Jamie is at the top of our list for our second round. Rowan also got mixed because it That's was like fine. Rowan or Rezan, and I think Rezan is a more uh, like iconic book boyfriend. Right now, yeah, with how Sarah's doing her books and stuff, Rezan was what's, what's happening mm -hmm. right now. Rowan, but Rowan will come back, and Jamie's coming. What should we do with Jamie's bath bomb? Make it play. We should just put a teeny tiny kilt on it. Can <laughs> <laughs> we draw? Can we just draw a <laughs> It's like, yeah. and then, then it would disperse, and I'd be like, oh, I'm talk about mini dad, right? Then you know, like, antsy, and like, she's like, I want to do it, I want to make it. And like, hot and bothered. Stop it. <laughs> Calm down. Like, legit hot and bothered. I'm not together, Kelly. I have to call <laughs> Ray myself in. <laughs> it makes me so happy. I'm like, spread eagle on the toe. <laughs> I look at it, I'm like, I should <laughs> more ladylike. I know. Okay, so, video is lagging. Oh, no. That is probably on their end. Okay, novel reality, if you can see this, um, it's not lagging on ours, so close out of our live and come back into it, and it'll probably help. Okay, um, what else? Anything else? Video teeny time? kilt with a bare bottom under it. <laughs> That's perfection. <laughs> just like a little, a teeny little, like little butt crack painted on it, so it's just like all tan. Oh, that's oh and then on the chest, so we could do a little kilt with a little butt crack underneath, and on the top it could just be like abs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if we don't do this, can you just make that bath bomb for me? Yeah, just to, that's Deborah's Christmas. Done. Not lagging for me. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, so we have a few minutes left. Um, we it, does anyone have any questions about our bath, book boy from bath bombs? Anything. Starlight crate, March our sanity, March poor unfortunate souls crate, our current therapy situation, <laughs> um, yeah. relationships. I just want to point out we have a. Uh, a quart of candles, considerable wingspan, breeze oh, yeah, candle yeah. burning. So yeah. we like set the mood. We want to set the mood. Considerable <laughs> wingspan. Actually, it was funny because I was chatting. Um... Oh, what? Oh, keep going. You're fine. Yeah. I was chatting with Nellie about these, um, about candles, about something else. And I'm like, you should totally do one called considerable wingspan. But I was like, that's too naughty. And then she's like, no, it's not. And I am doing that. Is that okay? And I'm like, yes, I will buy 10. And, yeah. then <laughs> and then we, then she said there's a whole kit and we were just like, they want to know if you have any more hints about the starlight box. Okay. So we have the oh, enamel yes. pin. Okay. I'm trying to think of everything. <clears throat> Will you look at that exact wolf crate? We are. Yes. Quote. I know. We I look know. up that quote. The, so we, did, we can. Something. We are getting custom art from a couple different people. 
There might be something similar. We are getting custom artwork that may be applied to something similar to what I'm holding. <laughs> Um, that's one item. So that was, that item was one of my ideas that Kelly actually didn't laugh at. And, <laughs> and, um, I was like, I love this quote so much. I think it is like my favorite moment, um, besides chapter 55. And, um, but it was my favorite moment in A Court of Mist and Fury, um, something that Reason said that I thought was like, so iconic. So yes. Is the quote you are looking for, remember that you are a wolf and you cannot be caged? Yes, that's it. So we took the quote. For so, the pin. So for the pin, we were inspired by the quote, you are not, or you are a wolf and remember you Remember that you are a wolf and you cannot be caged. Perfect. So that was one part of the book that we really loved. And we did a pin inspired by that quote. And it's beautiful. Yes. Then we are doing another art design inspired by my favorite quote from that specific series. There's also going to be... A very unique candle in this box mm -hmm. from a company we haven't worked with before. It's going to be a little bit of a larger candle because it's a special edition crate. And I don't want to give too much away, but it's beautiful. So pretty. It's, it's so beautiful. It's so different than anything we've done. Yes. I'm really excited. It's a little bit more of an elegant candle. It's not as like fandom-y. Um, and the label's a little bit more elegant. And inside the candle is a very cool, like it's a very cool experience. Burning experience. There's a bunch of other things that we're not mentioning, but those are our three hints that you get for Nam. Oh, there's original artwork going on a an, a, a different item than the one mm -hmm. that we were just talking about. Something you guys always ask for. And it will fit in this box because we don't have a book, and so we're putting it in there. And it is kind of a long piece of artwork that I think will be really pretty. Yes. So That's enough. No more hints. Those are our hints. And you get nothing else until I maybe share <laughs> maybe like two sneak peeks before they ship. They ship the last week of April. Okay. okay. Um, large candle, thank. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, thank you for the hints, of course. Okay. Um, mini princes in the book within box. I don't know what that meant. Um, so. Oh, more princes. Oh, more Prince. princes. That so, was, you want princes represented as a book boyfriend? That box? No. I'm confused. Tell us what you're thinking. Um, do we miss Rico? Hello! <laughs> Um, is there a live reason in the Starlight Box? We try. Yes. So we will be including a small portal <laughs> that transports you into, um, what is it? Pl ply how do you Perithian? Say it? Perithian. Perithian. It will transport you into the Night Court. So Or the Court of Nightmares. Good luck. <laughs> Under the <laughs> mansion. <laughs> They're like, ah. Did we give, oh yeah, we did hints about the Starlight Crate. Just gave those. Um. So, okay. my mom is watching you. She just adores Alex. She just texted me and said, Alex is the funniest person I've ever seen. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's really, really nice of her. I am something. I don't know if I'm adorable, but... Mm. Yes! <laughs> She's hilarious. I'm, I'm not very funny on camera, only in text form. That's a good Ke Kelly's on her medium is definitely gifts. I get nervous on camera in, in front of people, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was so emotional. Whatever, you're stinking adorable. <laughs> She's adorable. Kelly's always adorable. I just do what she tells me on camera, and I'm like, okay, I will sit in a tub. I will do this. I know, we should do this from a bathtub. And Okay, so we kind of threw it up on our Marco Polo group with our whole team. And we're like, should we do this from a bathtub? And everyone's like, yes, 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 yes. And me and Kelly are like, all right, I guess that's happening. Well, so, am I clothed or am I in a swimsuit? What's happening? I feel like you guys need mermaid tails. Oh, uh, yeah, that one's coming. We're not oh, going yeah, to. I forgot we cannot that. tell you why. And we cannot tell you what it has to do with. But in May, me and Kelly will be in this tub immersed in a full mermaid getup. I'm so excited. Thank you to Findo Jane. What's her name? Findango. Findango. Thank you for the Findango. support. <laughs> Thank you, Findango. I'm so awkward on camera. No, you're fine. But. Okay, um. I love the leggings for you, both of you. Oh, um, love to dazzle if you're just tuning in. LitJoy will be launching these LitJoy exclusive pattern leggings this spring. So you'll be able to buy them this spring. She, this is our dragon. And then this is our constellation. <laughs> Did you say you're going to have one more design? Yes, we're working on the third design now. So we'll launch with the three patterns, and then hopefully if people enjoy them, we can add more. So... 
It'll be fun. Um, this is my first print from you guys. I'm oh, pr uh, Princess Pei says, um, I'm so excited. It's from the Actar series, and thank you all for your fantastic work. You are so welcome. Ah, uh, I'm. You're so welcome. Like we work so hard, we care so much. So thank you. I think we're kind of wrapping up. Any last questions? About Three, two, one. We have, so, <laughs> we have so many things going on right now. Any last? We questions? have a lot going on. And I'm also working simultaneously on our upcoming year four magical crate for Harry Potter. So it is the year of the Goblet of Fire. So yes. be thinking about possibly something you'd want to see represented in that box. Yes. We might be asking that question. Also, our product card. We've started to kind of do very book specific product cards. So the last product card for our year three crate. Which I just found out it like we're like ninety nine percent sold out on that. So if you guys want a year three, like it's get it now. Oh yeah. Um, but that product card was a Marauders map inspired. Oh, so cool. We are doing a it was it's like and the printer they created a new fold name yeah. for it the Marauder fold is like what they call it. No, now. they call it like the magical fold. I can't remember. Yeah, like the magical fold, and I'm like, we'll, we'll have more magic for you. Um, so the product card for your four, we've been brainstorming what item we want to represent in the product card. Hello. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't notice that. And, Distraction. And it's going to be very specific to your four, and it's good. I'm just excited about the product card. That's it. If you can make it happen. Novel Reality says she wants a goblet of fire prop. Prop? On it. <laughs> no, we might have something Dylan. in store for you. I don't... Oh my gosh, I just had an idea. Uh, I'm all, that's just my eyelash. It's not. <laughs> um, I just had an idea, so remind me after this is over. Cool. Yeah. And um, an actual goblet of fire. Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay. Any last questions? Thanks, Akari. Not? Give me your best princess parade waves. And... <laughs> 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 That's Woo! us. We are Wayne's world. My my crown is a fallen. Okay. <laughs>